Hey, welcome to the mangrove. It's a dynamic environment that starts off as land and in a few hours becomes the sea. But how do trees cope in such a dynamic environment? This is the rhizophora tree. It has these iconic branching roots that give it support against the waves and the currents and lets it breathe. These pneumatophores belong to the Avicinia tree and when the tide comes in they act like snorkels. These adaptations allow mangroves to survive in this thick, smelly, anoxic soil that's deposited over thousands of years. Now we can find all sorts of things in the mangrove. This tasted really good on a barbecue a few hours later. Mangroves provide a range of ecosystem services to man. This village in Thailand catches fish from the mangrove. And the Nipa palm is where we get our atap chi. Mangroves make really good timber. And if we put the wood in a kiln, we get charcoal. So let's take a look at Singapore's mangroves. We don't have a lot of mangrove left in Singapore, but you can find some in the northwest, in some of the islands in the northeast, in the southern islands, and even close to NUS. Now, there's not many places in the world you can step straight off the MRT and into the mangrove. There used to be a fishing village in Mandai Mangrove, but now this is all that remains. And we have restored and replanted mangroves in Singapore too. But our mangroves are having a tough time. Strong waves from ship traffic erode the coastline. And our mangroves are full of trash that can trap other animals in the mangrove. Look at what we collected on Bulaobin. And in the rest of Southeast Asia, mangroves are dug up for shrimp ponds or converted into oil palm plantations. And we're still trying to figure out how our mangroves may survive in the face of future sea level rise. So let's show you what we get up to as we try and save the mangrove. Italian mangrove to do some mangrove experiments and I want to introduce you to the mangrove team that are going to show you the mangrove today. So this is Wade Kip, give a wave, and this is Rachel, they're both uh, master students in the geography department, and this is Rick, he's from NTU, <laughs> but he used to be from NUS so I guess that makes him okay. Alright, um, okay, so off we go into the mangrove. See you later guys, collect me some good data. See you later. I'm going back to bed. Wake 
hit the Iron Man Lee. experiment we carried a generator and a jackhammer into the mangrove. We're drilling these rods straight into the bedrock. And on top of these rods we place this instrument called a rod surface elevation table. It measures if the mangrove surface is going up or down and we compare this change to local sea level rise. Then after a hard day of field work it's back on the boat home. Okay, this here is first class. And here's economy class. From this viewpoint, we can look for things such as canopy gaps and even identify different tree species by their colour. And we do this research so we can better understand how to conserve this unique ecosystem into the future. Hey, thanks for watching, and I hope I give you a little idea about Singapore's mangroves. <laughs>